Toviyahu, Tobit, 1. The Sefer of the words of Toviyahu, son of Toviel, the son of Aniel, the son of Aduiel, the son of Gaveel, of the seed of Acheel, of the tribe of Naphtali. Who in the time of Enemesar, king of Ashur, was led captive out of Thishbi, which is at the right hand of that city, which is called properly Naphtali, in Galil, above Asher. I, Toviyahu, have walked all the days of my life in the ways of truth and justice, and I did many alms deeds to my brethren and my nation who came with me to Nineveh, into the land of Ashur. And when I was in my own country, in the land of Yashadael, being but young, all the tribe of Naphtali, my father, fell from the house of Yerushalayim, which was chosen out of all the tribes of Yashadael, that all the tribes should sacrifice there. Where the temple of the habitation of El Elyon was consecrated and built for all ages. Now, all the tribes which together revolted, and the house of my father Naphtali, sacrificed unto the heifer Baal. But I alone went often to Yerushalayim at the feasts, and it was ordained unto all the people of Yashadael by an everlasting decree, having the first fruits and tenths of increase with that which was first shorn and them gave i at the altar to the priests the children of aharan the first tenth part of all increase i gave to the sons of aharan who ministered at jerusalem another tenth part i sold away and went and spent it every year at Yerushalayim. And the third I gave unto them to whom it was meet, as Deborah, my father's mother, had commanded me, because I was left an orphan by my father. Furthermore, when I was come to the age of a man, I married Chana of my own kindred, and of her I begat Tofiyahu. And when we were carried away captives to Nineveh, all my brethren and those that were of my kindred did eat of the bread of the other nations. But I kept myself from eating, because I remembered Elohim with all my heart. And El Elyon gave me grace and favor before Enem Esar, so that I was his purveyor. And I went into Madai, and left in trust with Gavael, the brother of Gavriyahu, at Rages, a city of Madai, ten talents of silver. Now, when Enem Esar was dead, Kankeri Viv, his son, reigned in his stead, whose estate was troubled that I could not go into Madai. And in the time of Enemesar, I gave many alms to my brethren and gave my bread to the hungry and my clothes to the naked. And if I saw any of my nation dead or cast about the walls of Nineveh, I buried him. And if the king of Kankechiv had slain any when he was come and fled from Yahuda. I buried them privily, for in his wrath he killed many. But the bodies were not found when they were sought for of the king. And when one of the inhabitants of Nineveh went and complained of me to the king, that I buried them and hid myself, understanding that I was sought for to be put to death, I withdrew myself for fear. Then all my goods were forcibly taken away, Neither was there anything left me beside my woman Chana and my son Toviyahu. 
and there passed not five and fifty days before two of his sons killed him. And they fled into the mountains of Ararat, Arat, rather Ararat, and Ikar, Chadan, his son, reigned in his stead, who appointed over his father's accounts and over all his affairs, Achi Akaras, my brother, Anael's son, and Achi Akaras, entreating for me, I returned to Nineveh. Now, Achi Akaras was cupbearer, and keeper of the signet, and steward, and overseer of the accounts. And Ikar Chadan appointed him next unto him, and he was my brother's son.